All right, we are back with part two, and this is gonna be all things hair care and makeup. I really like these two things, but I think there is a common misconception that you need to spend high end on your makeup and your hair care. I think I found a good little happy medium of both. This one definitely has a little bit more of a higher price point. Still consistent though with under $40. Uh, I think they're all very affordable. I think I'm now looking, there might be one option that might be a little over $40. I can't quite remember but of course I will have everything linked down below and I'm excited to share these things because a lot of the stuff you can pick up at the store at Target Walmart online and I will have links for everything down below so without any further wait let's get started with part two let's do hair care first I personally love hair care I don't know if you guys know this but I've been doing hair since 2006 and it's not a subject that I talk about a lot on this channel I don't want it to focus on that and I try a lot of different products but for a girl who is pretty consistently loving certain brands certain things and I stay pretty loyal I did venture out and try and find a couple things that you can get over the counter but a lot of things are just gonna come back to one product line because you guys know if I love something I truly love it all so let's go ahead and get started with like while your hair is wet some styling product all of these products are more geared to my hair type I have longer finer hair and I want just like a very nice healthy glow moisturizing heat protectant the basics so one of my favorite things which you guys have known I've shared this forever now it's the Kenner Platinum Silken and Gloss favorite product line it is amazing so one thing to note on most of these products I don't use on my roots this one I'm gonna use like from like my ears drown like mid strain to ends so what I love about this is that it's just so silky soft you guys can see with my hair it is very long and I really just want a healthy shine so what I do is I actually use about three pumps of this even with all of my hair and I just kind of rub it in while it's wet and kind of mid strain the ends and kind of bring it down and kind of bring it through all of the ends and it just brings such a nice shine all of these products pretty much have a good heat protection in it but I love this I don't think you have to use a ton of products listen to your hairstylist because they're gonna know your hair type way better than I am but this is one of the things that I personally love for my hair care and I think it is worth every dollar the one rival I will say that I do love and I could recommend this for almost every hair type it's the blow dry mist I thought I had several of it yes I have a couple of these they come in two different sizes I love this this is definitely going to give you a little bit of shine if you have a little bit of frizz just a little bit it'll tame it down a little bit it is very comparable to the wow dream coat I I think this is overrated. I'll tell you this right now. She's still pretty full. I use this on some of my clients. I just think this is going to be so much better. And I think actually this is a little bit more affordable than this. Don't quote me. I can't quite remember. But this is definitely a far better option in my opinion. I think it just is a really, really fine mist, which so is this one. But this has a very nice scent to it. This has very little scent, which is great for some people. However, I use this on a lot of my clients that have very very sensitive sniffers and are very sensitive to smells and chemicals and artificialness and this has not bothered anyone so I'm not saying it won't bother you but I absolutely love this I think it is a top choice every time I spray it on someone they're like what is that it's a really good product it has a great heat protectant I would highly recommend it and again I don't think the dream coat is bad I just think it's overrated and I would much more recommend you to get the Kenner Plast platinum blow dry spray I've used it for years Kenner platinum like I said is right there with Laneige if you guys saw part one I clearly love the brand Laneige but I mean it was okay I mean I did see a little bit of the taming effect as far as a little bit of frizz I still think the blow dry spray is much better so this is one that I use on my daughter and it's the Kenner platinum pearl detangler this is amazing I think I've shared this on stories or in another video before I use this on my daughter every day and I know a lot of you guys are like Jeannie like she's seven years old or some that know her she's seven years old but she has very long hair just like I do I think hers is actually longer and hers is definitely 
thicker and she gets the tangles so if you guys have seen little videos of her on our Disney trips and that she has very long hair and trying to tame that with the tangles and playing and being a little seven-year-old girl is really difficult but this is a game changer I know you can get products over the counter this is a product if you have a hard time with tangles this is one that will definitely change the game for you I definitely would recommend it for all hair types even my mom when she goes to my mom to you know you know for a sleepover on that and she's got to deal with the hair she's like please make sure she has her detangler because that is a game changer I also tried this one I think I got this like three or four times it's the air dry cream by of course Kenra Platinum again anything Kenra Platinum smells like chef's kiss it is amazing it is not overpowering but I've never had a product that is Kenra Platinum that I've used on someone or people have smelt my hair and they're like what is that this smells so good I do like the young girlies I do teenagers I do preteens I think my oldest client is 93 years old this is an awesome one it's absolutely awesome I love it do I think it's better than some of the other ones no but also too this is an air dry cream so this is something to where it's great for letting your hair air dry if you have frizz but you don't want to have something too oily and greasy and you don't want to put a ton of product in I really liked this I wish that you could get this in a little bigger size or even like a maybe in a pump I mean I like this it doesn't bother me but it's it's a really good product and then hairsprays I have used bedhead hardhead forever and now they changed to, to, to the bedhead hardhead hairspray extreme hold it's the number five it's strong stuff legit good like I love the alcohol to starch ratio like it's a really good one it smells like a typical typical hairspray it's not super scented but it's for bedhead I love it I love the price point I get it in the travel it's awesome this one someone reached out and was just like I see all the housewives hairstylists using this a lot of the OC housewives I see their hairstyles using this and I don't really understand why until I bought it and it's the new fragrance what really sold me and it's the color treated extra strong hold and it's the humidity resistant hairspray no crunch no visible residue okay this has like zero hold here's my thing with it it smells so good so that is literally the only reason I put it in my hair is because it's like a perfume for my hair so I need a little bit more resistance in my hair my hair is just because it's so fine it's just silky soft which then kind of will lay limp so getting it a little grit and even taking out a hair bit of moisture with that starch and alcohol it works great I like it but literally only for the scent I've gotten a couple cans of this now or I think this is my second one I'll try this through the humidity summers here in the Houston Texas area and see if that lives up to our humidity because our humidity is next level but we'll see but yeah I literally am only using this for like a perfume for my hair because it smells so good I don't like to spend a ton of money and I wanted to find some more over-the-counter options Target Walmart options um things pretty easy for you guys to pick up and for even me to pick up without spending a ton of money on hair products so I thought a good category for that would be a dry shampoo there are really good like professional brands dry shampoos I wanted to give you guys an affordable option I use this on my hair quite a bit this one is for brunettes I will also link it for you blonde girlies but it is a dry shampoo and it's for the volumizing oh this is the volumizing one I also have it for a brunette so I'll link the three of these the volumizing I like for a traditional Additional. So this one is going to spray more white and then the brunette. So I'll I probably I guess I only really recommend the volumizing and the brunette one the brunette I wasn't really sure about I just try not to get the residue like all over because you'll get a little bit on your skin because it is brown but the volumizing smells really good some of the other ones I don't like so yeah I think I'm just gonna link the volumizing one and the brunette one I really like it what I do is I spray it once my hair is dry I will kind of spray it all through here kind of part through here I can even spray some in my mid strand ends to kind of give it like that grit and volume and then and also I kind of go through my back just kind of make sure I get that volume in that in the back it gives good volume like I will say that and it is most important to use your dry shampoo when your hair is clean I think a lot of people forget about that use it when your hair is clean because I always call it like a catcher like this is a catcher in baseball because it's like ready to catch the ball like it's ready to grab like any of the oils you want to make sure that you're gonna be ready I wouldn't recommend you know doing it every single day it's gonna clog it up but I really really like it some people love dry shampoo some people don't but it's a really 
really good source of volume. And then for a mask, if you guys have like some damaged hair and stuff like that, I know Olaplex has some good ones. You know, I I don't think they're the rave. I know they've been like super trendy. This one has been my tried and true for years and it's the Kenner Platinum Rapid Hydration Mask Light. I really like this because what I essentially do is I will put it on in the morning. If I have like a day off or in the summertime or whatever, if you guys saw my Sunday reset video, I had it in my hair and all I do, I literally was like right here with you guys showing you how to apply it because I was getting ready to work out and, and I wanted to apply a mask. So I put a bunch of it in my hand. I put my hair in a ponytail. I can't believe I'm doing this again. I literally would just put it on my mid-strand end and then I put it up in a bun, clip it up, and I let it sit overnight or a couple hours. I have a silk pillowcase, so I don't really want all of that to like soak into the silk. But this is a really great product. Again, I will link these things down below because they have been just my tried and true favorites. Let's get started with makeup. Now, I'm not doing like eyeshadows and highlighters and this and that. I'm just gonna highlight a couple things that I tried that are just my tried and true favorites that I really think are worth it or that I really think is a miss. So the first thing I'll start off with is some foundation. I really have been loving and I've shared this for years. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I love this. They have a huge variety of skin tones that it works for. It is very hydrating. I really like it. It says it has the hyaluronic acid and then I also thought it had an SPF but I can't quite remember. It really is a good product. Super affordable and I keep coming back to it. I have it in multiple shades for when I'm paler like I am now when I'm like at Disney and I have like that Disney summer glow because I've been out in the sun and just loving it and living my best life. I love it. It is really easy to find your shade. It's super available because I get it at Walmart, Target, wherever. The other one that I just feel it was a miss and I think... <laughs> I wasted 90% of this and it's been in my drawer now for over a year. So we're going to have to toss it. The makeup by Mario. This was full coverage. This is what I mean when I started the last video and I told you guys that I wanted to get like something that was super affordable for an everyday girly, for an everyday mom who just wants to be like this comfy, cozy, and just everyday and affordable. I don't think the price point was bad on this, but this was full coverage. I don't like wearing full coverage because I feel like I'm wearing a mask. Now, if you are going through, you know, you have some scarring or you really are wanting the full coverage, I think this is a great product. I think it's a really, the formula and everything is great. I don't even think but the price point for how much you're getting and the packaging and everything it's worth it. I just simply don't want this level of full coverage. And I do think there are different levels of full coverage. This was full coverage. Another thing that I feel like most moms have such a hard time with, any girly these days have such a hard time with, just the dark circles around her eyes. Like I definitely have always struggled with that. I used to use there, if you guys have seen some of my other videos that I've done empties videos, I did the Tula under eye stick for years. I love it. That brightening stick, they're all different formulas, all different undertone shades to help brighten you up for your skin tone. They're great. I really like them, but I wanted to blend them in a bit more than what I could do with those. So the other thing that I used to do was, uh, it's the Tarte Shape Tape. This is, uh, again, a full coverage option. Again, I, I don't, I don't want to disguise it so much to where I don't need it. This is still pretty fresh, so I'll be keeping this one, and it's still my first one, but my favorite for a no makeup makeup look, if I wear literally just skincare SPF and I just want to brighten up my eyes, is this new one by Becca. I got it for Christmas, and it's the Smashbox Becca collab, and it is on honestly so good. Like I've made a dent for sure because I literally wear it every day. If I'm going somewhere or not, I put it on and I have a really small, what are those called? Oh my gosh, I can't even think of what they're called. Sponge. I'm sorry, I had a complete brain fart. But I have a really small sponge that I go and do on my under eyes and it honestly brightens them so good. Any residual I do on my over eyes as well. But they're just really small ones that I'll link that I found at Target and I love them. But yeah, this has been a game changer. This is also available at Ulta. I was able to do a Target drive up for mine because our Target has an Ulta. So you can order it on Target. You can order from Ulta. I'll link a couple options down below. And then they also, I think, have it as a Sephora exclusive or online exclusive. So I'll link different options for this, but if you're wanting to brighten your eyes at all, or if you have any kind of dark circles under your eyes, I would definitely recommend this. I clearly love that I have more of these. I stopped like saving these. These are about $3. You can get them from like 
Target, Walmart, wherever. And it's the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. These are a game changer. Like if you wanted to just add a little bit, if you want a lot of it, I love these. You can get them in two packs. They come in a different color. It's like, look at like, this is the tiniest bit that is left. If you guys can see, there's like nothing left in these. I have used every bit. And what I love is the little spoolie on the end to where you can blend them and everything. I highly recommend these. I also had the benefits version of this. It was great. The $3 version is so much better. And then this benefit one, it's the brow microblading pen. I loved this. I absolutely loved it. Here's my problem with it. For the price, it wasn't that expensive. But for the price, it like dried up or it just, I used too much of it too quick. I just don't think you get enough product. And it's essentially like a little marker. It was really cool because it really did give a like hairline effect, like a microblading effect. It was a really cool product. I loved it. I bought it probably five times. I'm just not going to waste my money when I can get a $3 option that can be in a drive up or a Walmart delivery. I just love this so much or I just love the Elf one so much more. So this was a cool product. I would recommend it. But again, I'm going to still with the Elf $3 version. I'm sure you're hearing the little jingle jangles. Mr. Harley just came in. Another product for my brows that I actually really loved by Benefits was the 24 hour brow setter. This was honestly so good. But here is the problem. If you get any residual product on the edges, it like seals up. Like I literally have like teeth marks on this, like in plier marks because I kept a pliers in my drawers forever. I don't know why it sticks like this, but it drives me nuts. The, the thing that I really loved, I ended up turning this into is if I wanted a like really clean, like pony or bun situation, I actually would take this. You guys probably saw it in my story so many times like this. If you had like little hairs to just get out of the way because it has a nice little brush on there, like a little spoolie and it just grabs all these hairs and it essentially is just like grabbing a plain spoolie and some hairspray or some gel and it just like slicks up all the little hairs. I don't know. That's what it ended up turning into for me. But this one by e.l.f. has been my new favorite. It is tinted. It's the Wow Brow and it is so good. It actually has little fibers in here to kind of fill out and full out your eyebrows again so affordable and I absolutely love it. I will definitely be linking these down below because these are been like little staples. Like again, if you're going to the store, you're going nowhere and you want to put on no makeup, but you want to like look half presentable. This is a really good option because it doesn't really like fully fill out, but it keeps them in place. It tints them a little bit if you want. This one matches my um, brows really, really well. But again, it just fills out, tints them, keeps everything in place. I absolutely love this. And then for powders, like pressed powders, I, I mean, I'm a 90s girl. Like we grew up, like that was like staples. That was like that first set of makeup we got was pressed powder, right? So I think I'm always going to be out of date when it comes to this. But if you are like me and you like a pressed powder, the Sephora one wins my heart. I have multiples of these and you can see like she's gone. Like literally she's gone. I've used every bit of these. You know which one isn't gone though? is the MAC one. It ended up turning out to be a little darker because I got it like at the end of summer and then my tan was slowly going away. You guys know I always go to Disney in the summertime. So you're going to be no exception. And I love going for sitting by the pool. So I get that nice glow. So it ended up being a little bit too dark. It still works fine and everything. But my flaw with the MAC press powder is it was a little bit more full coverage. Again, I don't want to be that full coverage. I still want it to be a little bit more natural looking. If you have a little bit more that you want to do, or if you want to only put on a pressed powder to just give it a little tint and to kind of like soak up those oils a little bit, you do you. You wear your makeup however you want to. But I personally, especially for the price, have really, really liked the Sephora brand. They're a step up from drugstore and it's a really, really nice formula. Again, I'll link it down below. They have tons of color options options and I I've been using it for years and I love it. So for setting sprays, I tried to find a good option. My favorite, and I'm going back to it again, I actually have one more other one that I'm going to be trying first. It's the same kind of brand, but it's the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have multiples of these. They are the best. The reason why I love them so much is because let's say I didn't blend something just perfectly. Like if I just needed to like melt everything together, it definitely does that and it lasts. Like it definitely lasts. It's just that last finishing time that really makes your uh, makeup stay and it is really good. 
I would totally recommend that. There's an oil control one that I'm gonna be trying this summer. I've already ordered it because I'm heading to a nice warm vacation. I'm hoping it's gonna be warm and I wanna bring that just in case. So I ordered that in the travel size, but I wanted to find an affordable option like uber affordable. And you guys have seen that I love e.l.f. I tried the dewy coconut setting mist. The scent of this, I love coconut. <laughs> the scent of this was amazing. I don't feel that it was worth it. I think it was worth more than I paid for this. It is a good starter option for like preteen and that. However, for a girly, for a mom that, you know, is running around all day, who's working all day, trying to do all the things, the, the All Nighter by Urban Decay is definitely my top pick. This is something a little silly to share. I wanted to share just my perfume body spray for at home when I'm literally in my pajamas, living my best loungewear life to where I can just smell pretty. Like smell how, you know, like a nice little touch, you know, more than just like my body wash or something. I just wanted to have like a inexpensive-ish perfume body spray, something that I can just, I don't know. I just feel like if I do little options, do little things to elevate me being a grunge girl, like being as chill and living my best life on the couch as I can be, I still want to like do a little something more. So this is my little something more that I do. It's by Victoria's Secret. It's the Bombshell Seduction. I love this. I have been buying this for years. I have another one in here. I don't want to waste like my expensive stuff, even like my everyday perfume. Do you guys have like categories of your perfumes, like your really expensive stuff, like your medium, your low end, and then like your sitting at home perfume? I definitely have that. That might be something silly, but this is something to just uh, like boost myself up a little bit. I really enjoy it. Again, it's my Victoria's Secret. I love it. They come in travel size. This is typically to my Parks perfume. I don't want it to be like super potent in the sense that I'm around all these people. I want to be conscious of the people that are really sensitive to smells and that. It's just a really good option. But that is the last of my empties video product for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole two-part series. If you did not see part one, I will go ahead and link it down below. But if you've enjoyed the video, and if you have any of these products that you love or that you hate, let's talk about it down in the comments below. But do me a favor and hit that subscribe, turn on that notification bell, hit the like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.